When you know what to look for, you pretty quickly realize that most marketing problems, challenges, struggles are all fed by really like three core areas, problem areas that different businesses may run into. And regardless of the industry, regardless of the vertical, regardless of the market, regardless of the customer base, regardless of who's doing the buying, who's doing the selling, what the product or service is. Uh, if if you're having marketing struggles, it's it's probably one of three areas, and really there's like one core area that more often than not is the biggest issue. And so I want to talk about that. I want to talk about getting to the root cause and fixing the root cause of your marketing struggles today. So uh, with that, if you are struggling to get more leads, more customers, more sales, more profit. I mean, that's how we do marketing, right? It's usually it's usually one of those core areas. We want more leads, we want more customers, we want more sales, we want more profits. Well, you you may look at all of these things, like on the surface, you may say, oh, we need better lead generation, right? And so you may look at what your lead generation system is looking like, or you know how, how you're getting traffic to your website, or like all of these superficial details. But if you get down to the root cause, the root cause, and you fix that root cause, then you're way more likely to get whatever of these results, all of these results that you want, right? You're gonna feed more leads into the system, whether it's marketing or sales that actually converts them. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna get more customers or clients, you know, whatever name you use for them, right? But you're gonna get more people coming in the door. You're gonna generate more sales, more revenue, more individual items sold, and you're gonna generate more profits. Um, and so much of this comes down to these three areas. Like I said, three pillars of marketing success. These are like the roots that are feeding, right? But if we're looking for the problem, we're also going to find it here. One is favorable economics. Favorable economics. That means that your product, your service is priced in such a way and it is sold in such a way where after you have made the sale, you have a reasonable amount of profit left over after you've made the sale and fulfilled on the sale. Now that's not total business profit, but the cost of delivering the service, the cost of actually bringing in the customer. Your economics are such that you're making a good margin on each sale so that you can reinvest that into the business, you can reinvest that into selling more, you can reinvest that, right? So you need favorable economics for your offer or offers if you're selling people multiple offers as part of an initial um, session, right? Two, the second pillar is targeted traffic. That is, you need to be getting your message in front of people who are the ideal prospects for your offer, whatever it is, right? Your Ideal prospects need to be seeing you, they need to be learning about you, they need to be hearing about you, they need to be exposed to your message. And you need to be able to do this, you know, tied to the economics, but you need to be able to do this at, uh, at a cost that is affordable in the context of what you're doing here, right? So you need favorable economics, you need targeted traffic, and you need reliable conversions. So they get exposed to your message, they come to your website, or they engage with your marketing message in whatever media, and that converts them at a fast enough speed and at a high enough percentage, right? Uh, a high enough conversion rate that, and in a reliable way, that everything is working out in the end. And all three of these things, all three of these things are absolutely essential. Now, what can easily happen here, what can easily happen here is superficially you can look at one of these things and you can say, hey, this, is, this isn't working, right? This, this one thing isn't working. And so, I don't know, there's, there's the old thing that happens almost any time a business owner tries a new marketing channel, a new media, they'll do something like, oh, I tried Facebook advertising and it didn't work. Okay, great, yeah. Um, there's a reason Facebook grew to as big of a business as it did. And it's not just because of you know people sharing memes on, on Facebook. It's it is it is because it works as a marketing channel uh, when you figure out how to work it right. But 
you might say, oh, my, tar my traffic is not working. Well, it, it may not be targeted enough, right? Um, or your economics are not right in order to advertise on Facebook or your conversion rate of people who are your ideal prospect seeing your message and then turning into customers is not good enough, right? So all three of these things have to be working together. You could, you could launch a new offer, but your messaging sucks. And um, because your messaging sucks, it, it does not convert and you can't get the targeted traffic at, at economics that makes sense, right? So when you're looking to fix the root cause of your marketing struggles, you do have to consider all three of these items. Now, that said, there is one, one that most often is the biggest lever that you can pull to generate more success immediately. And it's, it's captured in this big problems are almost always blank problems. Big problems are almost always blank problems. Well, they're almost always offer problems. And so if you really can't make something work, a particular approach, right? A, a particular approach to running a business. If you really can't make it work and you try a bunch of things and you try, you know, maybe some different traffic channels and some different conversion systems, some different messaging, and you're struggling to get it to work, most often it is an offer problem. With the right offer, with the right offer, you're gonna have better economics. You're gonna be able to sell it for a higher dollar amount at higher margins over any kind of cost of delivery. Um, and so there's gonna be a lot more financial flexibility in there for you, uh, both in terms of operational expenses and in terms of marketing expenses. But a better offer is going to give you better economics. It's gonna give you higher conversions because your better offer is going to be more attractive to your ideal prospect, right? And so your conversion rate is going to go up um, with a better offer. And traffic becomes easier. It becomes easier for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, because people are more interested in whatever it is that you're offering. If your offer is designed in a way that it appeals to your core audience or target audience in, in, in the best possible way, if it's a stronger offer for that audience, you get more people who are clicking. So traffic becomes easier. You get more people who are engaging with your marketing message. But the other thing that happens if your economics are better is you can afford to spend more on traffic, which just increases the, the ease with which you're able to get traffic for your, for your offer. So when there's more margin in selling your offer, it makes everything easier, right? Um, so a big part of your offer is finding ways to make it perceived to be more valuable by your prospect, to make it more interesting to your prospect. And this offer lever, tweaking the offer, changing the offer, adding something to the offer that makes it more appealing, taking away things that make the offer, um, that might, might be dragging on the offer, um, finding a way to offer a premium version of whatever it is that you do, just doing everything you can to improve the offer. It is the fastest, easiest lever to pull and to and get results, get the results. So if you want to fix your marketing struggles, most often the root cause is in your offer. Now, in the rare instance that that is not the case, right? Oftentimes it's because you have a newer great offer, like you've just launched a great offer, but you haven't built out the entire scalable sales system for it yet, right? If you've, if you've built out this great offer and you're not really selling it at high volume yet, well, then you start to address the conversion problems and the traffic problems. So if you have a newer great offer, but no good structure or strategy yet, your focus needs to be on a scalable sales system. Now I say sales system here, of course, that can include marketing. It can include a sales department, right? It can include individual salespeople involved. It can include you as the salesperson, right? Um, but it is about saying, okay, do I have the great offer in place? And if I do, how can I then build a, an effective scalable sales system, a conversion system that is going to take any qualified traffic that I am able to send at it, any targeted traffic that I'm able to send at it, 
and convert those at a high enough rate that the economics are favorable and do that in a reliable way. And so first you work on the offer, right? If the offer was the, the root cause, then that's great, you fixed it. And then you work on the conversion systems and your conversion system, you improve the messaging, you improve the structure. Conversion architecture is a very important topic. We're not gonna go deep into it here, but the actual map of the, the path, the journey that your customer goes on, right? The, the structure that you build around their path that they follow to get to that conversion event, well, that's going to go a long way towards actually getting the conversions that you want even before you start putting words on the page, right? I've gotten, and this is coming from someone who's made his living primarily as a marketing messaging guy, as a copywriter going back to 2005, right? I'm saying do this other stuff first because it's more important, more powerful than the words you put on the page. And then once you have a good offer and a good conversion system, then the words that you put on the page become much easier, right? And then you make sure that you're sending targeted traffic into the system. And when you do that well, well, you're gonna fix the root cause of most of your marketing struggles. Now, there's actually a process that I go through here, and this is what I go through as a fractional CMO, working with clients, um, helping them increase their, their profits, increase their marketing results, is number one, I identify the, the current problems, right? So what is the root cause of your marketing struggles? Is it in the offer? Do you need a stronger offer? Do you need a more compelling offer? Do you need something that has more margin in it? Do you need, like what, what improvements could be made there? Or is it in the conversion system? Do you need better conversion architecture? Do you need a better scalable sales system, a better uh, sales process? Do you need uh, better traffic strategies, right? Uh, all of these things, all of these things can um, be identified as problems that need to be fixed, right? And so you will get the biggest, most important problems, and then you identify what is the number one priority here, right? Priority is actually a singular word, and it's supposed to be a singular word. It means the thing that comes before, right? We use priorities as a plural, um, and to some degree, I do as well, right? But really what you're looking at is the minimum number of problems worth solving that will make the biggest difference in the shortest period of time, right? So you're looking to solve your marketing struggles as fast and as easy as possible by identifying the most important problems or challenges that you need to overcome. So we establish what the, the all the problems are that could be solved in the marketing department. We uh, define which are the priority, right? Um, which problems are the priority to solve first, the limited number that we, we create a plan for 90 days, 12 weeks, to, um, to implement the solutions to those problems, or at least to implement potential solutions aiming to solve those problems. So uh, testing a stronger offer, testing a better conversion system, right? Testing new targeted traffic strategies. We, we lay out that plan and then performance. Over the course of that 12 weeks, we follow how everything goes, and assuming that everything goes well, uh, we should have made giant leaps towards fixing that root cause, towards solving the problem um, that was causing the marketing struggles in the first place. And you can follow that same process yourself, right? You, I, you come up with a list. What are all the problems and challenges that I'm facing right now in my marketing, in my business? Okay, which one of these, if solved, would have the biggest uh, impact on bottom line profits as well as top line revenue? you know, leads, customer sales and profits, right? And then create a plan for how you're going to solve those specific problems, the highest priority problems. And then you implement that plan, you, you perform, right? With the help of your team, or, you know, if it's your business and you're the one doing it, uh, then you do that, right? But it's that same process and you can repeat that process over and over again. So my call to action for you at the end of this episode is to ask yourself how you can use this. Like, what are you going to tackle in terms of the root cause of your own marketing struggles? What have what have you uh, come up with here? Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more content like this delivered to you. I do offer fractional CMO and copy chief services, especially for direct response marketers doing over $5 million a year. You can check that link in the description. If you do just want my thinking on 
uh, improving the power of your offer. I have a whole marketing course on irresistible offers. That link is in the description. And it's ridiculously affordable because it's part of BTMS Insider's membership, which is a streaming library of copywriting and marketing courses where you pay one low fee and you get instant streaming access to everything, including irresistible offers. I'm Roy Furr. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Check those links in the description. Uh, there's a few others as well if you'd like to follow me. And I will catch you again in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.